Hello, YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, I'm back and hopefully doing a vid two, three weeks apart and whatnot. So, kind of starting a new series and gonna pause on my TV discussions. This new series, kind of, but not a whole lot similar to it, but it's TV analysis, which I will have a few different shows, but this one I like to start out with MLP, if you don't know what it is, it's My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And before I start jumping into season four, I'll start with season one. Episode 1 and 2. It's the big, big two-parter of the whole series. Now, let's dive into episode 1 of season 1. And I'll make... And it will be a long, long list, too, which will be from season 1 two, three, and then current season four. But anyways, w season one, episode one, we start with a basic ring of a fairy tale-ish book where it leads to Twilight Sparkle, whom we meet right off the bat of the series. Well, before it cuts to the theme, yeah, she's wondering where she heard the element of the elements of harmony, which most of you who've actually watched MLP know that up till season four, the elements of harmony were kind of the plot device till they scrapped them in the big season four two-part opener. But anyways, then after the theme ends, we come back with, again, Twilight thinking on where she heard him, but walking back to where everyone thinks she lives. And this is in Canterlot, which thought they kind of vaguely mention. And then we meet Spike, her assistant, her number one assistant. And not have not much to say, it's just Spike. <laughs> Anyways, they find out that Nightmare Moon, whom at the end of part two we'll get to, the second episode of the series, ends with adding a new character in this whole series, Princess Luna, whom, can't remember if it was season one or two, if it was the Luna Eclipse, which it is one of my top five or ten episodes I like, along with Bats from season four. <laughs> Anyways... Twilight then has Spike, whom is the only one that could send a letter or receive a letter from Princess Celestia with some sort of spell, but they haven't really mentioned that in this season, so 
But yeah, yeah. And then Twilight's mentor slash ruler of Equestria, Princess Celestia, whom raises the sun and moon, apparently. Even though her cutie mark in this cute little series is the sun mm, doesn't make a whole lot of sense till Nightmare Moon whom shows up at the end of the first episode but then continue in part two well Princess Celestia wants Twilight our main character at the moment to go to the location of the summer cel the celebration of raising of the sun and yeah twilight's actual mission was to make some friends she doesn't learn that till somewhere in part two so Well, the first person or the first pony they Spike and Twilight meet is Pinkie Pie. And it there wasn't really much introduction or reacting to each other, not a whole lot. So it's practically meaning the other five ponies in this series in order to kind of see where it stands. And if most of you don't remember episode one, the aura of Matt or the main six, we have Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, trying to make sure, Rarity, Fluttershy, so, the main six, then, kind of towards the end of part two, we'll get to in a little bit, really starts the series, and, After Twilight goes through all the steps, all the preparation on the list, but by the time she went to see how the preparations for the music was going, this is where we meet Flourishai. <laughs> Sorry, that for that little awkward pause, but... Then Fluttershy got curious on a Spike because he's referred to as a baby dragon throughout all season. Every season. So, they party a little bit, but Twilight on the other end does not want to party she wants to surprise study because she didn't really understand friendship yet so and then by the main event the sol summer soul celebration party ish thing is where nightmare moon enters now that kind of ends episode one. What I thought of it, they could have played a little more on making it more okay. But that's my personal opinion. Now on to episode two, where it picks up where we left off. Where... Nightmare Moon shows up as the villain. Well, 
Twilight knows who she is because she's read about it in her books. But no one else, and I mean no one else, remembers this little ponytail. And then Twilight goes back to her temp home at the time. It, a library. And the other five ponies show up and start asking the questions of who, how did you know who that was, and yada yada. And they would have to travel through the ever free forest, which, yeah, all, every pony is scared of it because it's so freaking terrifying. I bet, too, because if you haven't seen the, and if you are an MLP fan, Brony or Sister, I don't really care which one you are, as long as you're true to yourself on that. And they do, ten, there are several different episodes throughout the whole series, season one to four. They kind of come back to the Everfree Forest time and again, so. But they only referred back to the castle once in season four, which I'll not soon, but later on talk about it. So, throughout the whole time, the main six and Spike went through are walking through the ever-free forest, Nightmare Moon tries to stop them, but not successfully, because from out Applejack to Rainbow Dash, they've proven the five elements of harmony. There was, there are six, but the sixth one's really fucking hard to get which is a friendship of magic magic so it's pretty much they're having a challenge for each of her each of Twilight's friends and yeah they've proven they are meant to be friends. I remember watching the um, CMC Chronicles. I think it's in season one or two. I can't remember. So, yeah, they make it. But the main, the five, and set Twilight, well, six of them got to there, but Twilight went into the castle alone. And then she has to fight Nightmare Moon. Then a oh look disappeared, went to a different part of the castle, and then the other five show up at kind of towards the end and help her discover that she and the other five ponies that she was with are meant to be friends and defeat Nightmare Moon. And the main six now control the element of or the elements of harmony so yeah and finally we meet princess celestia whom welcomes back princess luna and rewards the main six and spike well actually not spike but the main six with Metals and defeating a great evil. Now, if you like this, like it, comment below on which so shows you want to want me to analyze and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.